Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic for this training session which is on profiles in SAP. Okay, so basically there are different profiles in SAP and uh, there is different objective for each of these profiles. Profile parameter actually when we do the installation of SAP system, the profiles are automatically created. There is a start profile, there is a default profile and there is an instance profile. Okay, and they are there in the global profile directory. There is a profile parameter created there which stores the files for the profile. So let's see the details of it. Okay, here you can see that you can do a maintenance. Basically, these are the three profiles that is there. Okay, you have default profile, you have start profile, you have instance profile. And these are at the OS level. So when you go to RG10, these are can be imported into SAP using RG10 transaction and they change and they are saved in the database. Okay, after that you need to activate. So the activated profile is these are the three sets of the activated profiles in SAP. So let's see how do we do that and how it works. So let me connect to the system to show you the default profiles the files basically. So this is basically an SAP system where you have your default profile, you have the default profile, you have the instance profile and you have the start profile. Okay, so let's see what how the start profile looks like. So we'll go into the details but before that let me connect to the SAP system as well and we'll show you the default profiles which is there. Okay. So let's go to this transaction called RZ10. Okay, now in this transaction, this is basically it shows that you can select the profiles. Okay, these are the three profiles which is there in the system. So let's select the default profile. Okay, before that, suppose if you have done a new installation, the first thing that need to be done is come to the utilities, click on check all profile. Okay, here you can see the profile of active servers. Now, after any new installation or new export import or new setup of servers, you need to import the profile of active servers. Okay, so once this is done, these are the profiles which will be available at the database level. Okay, now here you can come and take a look at it and can modify these default profiles. You can modify this. Uh, the instance profile, you can modify the start profile. And let's say I want to modify the this particular profile, say instance profile. Okay, here you can see that this is the instance profile and let's go to the administration data. So I'll display the data and here you can see that this is the profile name. It's the version history is maintained. This is version number four. This is a description of this particular profile and activation in the operating system. So here you can see that this is the location where at operating system level it is present. Okay, now this is the name of the profile. Okay, OS and here you can see this is an instance profile. In this you can see its default profile, startup profile, instance profile. Okay, so that is about this particular profile say let's say I want to do the basic maintenance okay now here you can see it's a different interface where you have the system name system number instance so this is basically the buffer sizes and the work process information you can modify this information so here this is tabs are there where you can increase or decrease these values okay so it can be increased and decreased from here Okay, so this is about the buffer sizes, then the number of work processes are here. Okay, here you have dialog instance, update v1, update v2, in queue, background, pool work processes are here. Okay, you can see these are the directories. You can see that role, directories for role, for paging, for reorg, for transports, for external sorting, for other data is here. This is the memory management tab. 
where you can see that initial role area is this, extended memory is this, local memory parameter is, this is the local area pa parameter, and you have the role parameter that is the role buffer, role file, extended memory, and this is the maximum local memory swap. Okay, so this is about the different parameters. See here again come back to the buffer parameters. So these are the buffer values. Okay, now if you go to the extended maintenance, you will see a different screen which is showing you all the other parameters which is available in SAP system. Okay, now say for example, this parameter, this is not in edit mode. Now suppose if I go to edit mode, I want to create a new parameter. I will give some value of the parameter, some parameter name and its value. And it will show me, and if I just copy that, it will be copied into the profile. Okay, so that is how the profile parameter, and if I want, I can check the profile of all servers in operation mode of all active servers. So this will show me a report of uh, different parameter values, that is how these values are, what these values are. And you can see there are some unknown parameters, some parameters are, if suppose there is an irrelevant parameter or incorrect parameter, you'll be seeing a red flag there. So this is about these particular values. Okay, let's continue with our slide. Okay, so we have seen that these are the instance profile after any new installation at OS level. When you select import of active profile, it will be imported into the database. Once you save it, it will be saved in the database and if you, you can activate any of these. Okay, profile maintenance, we just saw this information in the system. Okay, then profiles in SAP, we have seen how we can change these profiles in SAP. Okay, so this basically is telling that you can check a single profile, you can check all the profiles, you can compare the profiles. Okay, so here it's basically giving information about the startup sequence, that is, when a system starts, which profile is picked up first, after that which profile, and this is basically uh, showing the sequence of the events which is happening while starting a system from a Microsoft Management Console. Okay, so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular session. Thank you. Thanks for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.